Hey, it's Mike. Let's talk about Reaper. I've noticed in the forums lately a lot of people asking how to recover from projects that are crashing on open. Reaper is known for being lightweight on system resources and also for being incredibly stable. To my recollection, I've never had a single crash in Reaper that had anything to do with Reaper in and of itself. In most cases, a crash in Reaper is due to a problem with a plugin, the DRM method associated with the plugin, or possibly an operating system update. Today we'll be looking at how to recover from a project that crashes on load. Let's take a look. I've currently got an empty project open. What I'd like to start with is showing you a few options that I have for launching Reaper that dictates what it does when it first starts. I'll go to Options, Preferences, in general. We'll take a look at startup settings. Our first option is open projects on startup and I have mine set to prompt. The default in Reaper is to open the last active project. Now if your last active project crashed, this can be a problem because every time you open Reaper it's going to start with that crashing project. I highly recommend starting this to prompt. That way when you open Reaper you can choose whether to start with a new project or open a pre-existing project. This setting alone will help to stop Reaper from crashing if the last open project has a plugin or something that causes it to crash. Now while this helps you to at the very least get Reaper open, it doesn't really help you much with opening a project that you need to open to figure out why it's crashing. Reaper does have a recovery option that allows you to open a project in offline mode. When a project is opened in offline mode, all of the plugins will still be on the tracks, however they will be offline. Offline differs from bypass. When a plugin is bypassed, it's still loaded but it's not processing sound. When a plugin is offline, it's not loaded into the project fully. It's not taking up any CPU or RAM or other system resources. If you're already in Reaper, go to File, Open Project, and you'll notice in the dialog there's an option to open the project in a new tab, but also open with Effects Offline or Recovery Mode. Let's open a project and see what it does. We'll see the project load warning. The following effects were in the project file but not loaded because of a user request for recovery mode. This lists all the plugins that are used in the project. And if I click OK and bring up my mixer, I can see each of my plugins are now offline indicated by the red. If you're dealing with a project that's crashed, any one of these plugins could be the culprit. To determine which one is causing the problem, activate the plugins one at a time until you can replicate the crash. You can bring the plugins back online by right clicking in the effects slot and removing the check mark from offline effects or by holding Control Shift or Command Shift if you're on a Mac and clicking the plugin. I'll hold Control Shift and click this plugin and we can see it's been brought back online. Now this particular project is stable so I don't have to worry about any of these crashing it, but if you're dealing with a project that is crashing, again the procedure is to activate them one at a time until you can replicate the crash. Once you can determine which plugin may be causing the problem, it's then best to contact the plugin developer to report that. But what do you do if Reaper is set to automatically load the last active project and that project keeps crashing? Fortunately Reaper has a way to get around that as well. Let's take a look. I'll close Reaper to get back to my desktop. I've got Reaper down in my system tray which you currently can't see, but if you hold shift on the keyboard while clicking the Reaper icon, it will force it to open with the option to create a new project. Now in the event that you don't want to create that new project, that's fine, just press cancel and it will take you to an empty project, at which point you can go through and change your preferences to prompt on startup. Once you're at this point, you can go through and open that project in the recovery mode. Now another nice benefit of the prompt method is that if I launch Reaper, I get the prompt for what I'd like to do and I've got the option of the last active project or to create a new project to work with templates or to open any of my recent projects, but we've also got the option here right at startup to open with effects offline in recovery mode. So even if you've got a project that's giving you trouble, you can see that Reaper offers a few different methods to help you to get around that and figure out what's causing the problem. I hope this helps. If you like the content you're seeing, be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and you can support the channel further by clicking the Buy Me A Coffee or Patreon link below. I gotta buy some creamer. Also check the link in the description to join us on Discord. See you next time.